made it to throw. That's it. That's it. Tokido is the Evolution 2017 champion. Immediately after winning EVO 2017 in Street Fighter V, Japanese fighting game legend Taniguchi Hajime, better known as Takedo, had one thing he wanted to say. Fighting game is something so great. They're great for many different reasons, and one person's reason for finding them great is often different from another's. I'm Patrick Miller for Core A Gaming, and this video is going to talk about the things that make fighting games worth it. Reason number one, learning to do hard stuff is cool as hell. Fighting games are real hard. They may look like a street fight or an anime battle, but when we're playing fighting games, we're practicing our ability to perform very abstract combinations of solving math problems, reading emotions, and executing complicated physical tasks all at the same time. When you're playing neutral, you're looking at your opponent's movement, anticipating their future position, choosing a place on the screen to move your character to, and selecting the attack that will collide a hitbox with their hurtbox before they do the same to you. In other words, geometry. When you're playing with pressure strings on attack and defense, you're flexing your ability to look for patterns in a statistics and probability set. Fighting games are competitive speed math, and I think this is really cool. I have never done well in math class, and I don't enjoy doing math problems, but I love playing fighting games. This is because unlike math class, we're not just doing math with a brain and a pencil. You're doing it with your hands. You may be really fast with your math, but it doesn't matter unless you can execute your answer with pinpoint accuracy and timing. Learning how to do high-speed geometry through a collection of buttons and levers will force you to understand and strengthen your brain-body connection, just like music, dance, sports, and martial arts. We're not done yet, though. You can't win a tournament just by playing speed geometry on an arcade stick, guitar, or steering wheel because you're doing it against another person. In order to be a complete fighting game player, you'll need to learn to read your opponent's mind and feel what they're feeling. When you're playing a fighting game, it feels like you're having a great conversation and you don't have to say a single word. Of course, this is all hard. And the fact that it's so hard is what makes it so impressive that people can do any of this at all. But the thing that makes fighting games even cooler in my eyes is that all of these things can enrich your life outside of fighting games. Abstract problem solving, manual dexterity, and empathy are all just generally useful skills that are good to have for everyday life. This is why you will often hear fighting game players describe their real life in terms of fighting games. They give us practice reading a situation, assessing our options, deciding on a plan, executing it, and then reflecting on the outcome to see what we can do better next time. Reason number two, winning and losing is all on you. Real life is messy and complicated, and its ups and downs are not usually entirely your doing. When it comes to school, jobs, relationships, and all the other things we do in life, it can be hard to motivate yourself to put in work when you don't know if or when it'll pay off. In fighting games, you win when you outplay your opponent and you lose when you don't. The only special thing you bring with you into a match are your hours and hours of experience. It's that simple. This can be intimidating for some people, and that's perfectly understandable. Fighting games are a mirror that reflects your soul, and many people will look at their Tournament 02 and see nothing but disappointment, failure, and wasted time. Over time, however, the people who stick with it and keep on checking in on their reflection will see their own strengths and faults with greater clarity, and they'll get to see their work turn them into an ever stronger person. I think it's easy these days to feel like you'll never be good at anything because we're constantly watching videos of people who are good at things and not often seeing the countless hours of awkward practice that they put into getting that good. If that sounds relatable, you might find that spending some time playing fighting games for a while will make literally every other skill feel doable because you'll get used to the feeling of being bad at something and you'll have faith that you'll get better as you keep doing it. And that's a pretty awesome thing to learn from a video game. Reason number three. You're not just a player, you're a performer. I never had any talents worth showing off at school talent shows, but I was always a little bit jealous about the kids who did because for a brief moment, they had everyone's attention. Performing in front of other people and seeing their approval can be a very powerful source of validation. And that validation is often what drives people to get better. 
I remember feeling this for the first time when I did an anti-air dragon punch at a crowded arcade cabinet and heard a murmur from the people watching. It felt like electricity shot out of my hands through the arcade stick and shocked everyone looking at the screen. For me, this was the first time I realized that being good at video games could be something that other people thought was cool. A few years later, I found myself sitting in the Cal Poly Pomona ballroom, hearing that same crowd murmur escalate into a roar as Daigo parried Justin Wong's Hoyokusen, and I thought, well, I might be chasing this feeling for the rest of my life. Whether you're playing in front of thousands on stream or just a homie waiting for their turn, fighting games are better when they have an audience. When people watch you play, everything becomes a little bit sharper and spicier, and the fact that everyone is looking at the same screen with nothing on it but you and your opponent makes the focus far more intense than most other games or sports. Of course, this isn't for everyone, especially at first. First timers on the stream stage often crumble under pressure because they're not used to the extra energy coming from the crowd. And learning how to adapt to the extra stress is an important part of serious competition. But through fighting games, we get a chance to look cool playing video games in front of both friends and strangers. If you're like me, that might be the first time you got to perform your passion in front of others and feel validated by the attention. Let's go, young man. I think this validation is important, especially for young people. I don't know what it's like to be young now, but when I was a kid, nearly everyone around me made me feel like video games were a waste of time. Maybe you will be brain dead from staring at this thing all the time. No. Fighting games taught me that if I think something is cool, worrying about what others think is the real waste of time. Roll back your Reason number four. Everybody is the hero in their own story. Unlike narrative-driven games, fighting game characters don't really change, and you don't see them grow as the story unfolds. That's because in fighting games, the protagonist is you, and you're the one leveling up and tackling new challenges. The story takes place through narrative arcs like your first tournament experience, getting to know the local scene regulars, traveling to your first regional or major, and maybe even an epic showdown with a rival who's the protagonist of their own story. This is why fighting games have some of the most powerful storytelling moments in video games, even though nothing is scripted. We have a cast of colorful characters with different motivations, and we have a 1v1 competitive activity that puts us against each other. Fighting games are anime wrestling without a script, which makes everything real. And the best part is, at the end, no one is getting hurt. I often say that if you're not playing fighting games for the people, you're missing out on the best part. It takes a special kind of person to dig deep into competitive speed geometry anime wrestling, because you have to be willing to care deeply about something that is both very difficult and completely ridiculous. It's Super Tuesday! Once you're in, you have an easy way to find these special people all over the world and scrap with them and it's hard to imagine doing anything other than seeing what the world's warriors have to offer. I'm Patrick Miller for Core A Gaming. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more dope fighting game videos, read my essays in the video description for learning tips, and please consider supporting my Patreon and Twitch channel. Love your life, be good to one another, and play fighting games. This video is sponsored once again by Ridge Wallet. I've been using their wallets because they are light, low profile, and don't fold like traditional wallets. Even though they're small, they hold up to 12 cards with a clip for cash. It's made of metal, which is why there's a lifetime warranty, and they'll even give you a full refund within 45 days if you don't like it. If you want one, you can get 10% off and free worldwide shipping and returns if you go to rich.com slash coreagaming and use the code coreagaming. Thanks for watching, and see you next video or stream.